Valley today, a village way up in the mountains, the remote mountains of Haiti. Today we came as a surprise for Wilner and his mother. And we were so well received with joy for this village. But I want to tell you, this reunion was great today for Wilner because years ago, when he was only five years old, his mom, because of no medical help in this village, carried him in a basket on her head. This child was just days from death. She traveled down the mountains carrying this little boy that she needed a miracle for him. She went way down a pistol, hours and hours on foot, carrying him on her head. She got in a little canoe and she went hours across the sea as they paddled that little canoe, going to a place where our team was, was holding a clinic, trusting God for a miracle. But moment by moment, Wilner was dying. When he got there, it looked impossible he was live. He would live. He was so bloated. But we prayed and believed God for a miracle. We had to go 18 hours back to Port-au-Prince by boat and trucks. The doctors there said, I'll give you 5% chance he will be alive in the morning. But we kept praying for a miracle. And his mom kept praying for a miracle that her journey, her long journey across the river, across the terrain, would not be in vain. And God answered that prayer. Prayer. And he got adopted in the United States, a beautiful family, and he came back today to have a reunion with his mom and family. And look at the joy here. It's a cool time, Mommy. Today I got surprised. I know I was coming here. And it surprised me that brought me over here and to see my mother, my brother, and my nephew. And I know what to say. I started crying. And thank God for blessing me, taking me out of this town to give me a better life so I can give another life to somebody else. If they can do that for me, I can do that for my people. I mean, this is joy. This is joy. And this whole village, God brought us here for a second reason. This village of Tomaselli, they're crying out for help today. And we are so glad to be here to assess this village and see these beautiful faces here. These kids need to go to school. They have no water here. They have no food here. They have no school here. These kids need clothes. This village is crying out to God for help. And I'm so glad that God brought us here today because for the first time when they see visitors coming, they're saying hope is coming. I know it's not about us. It's about God that sends people, that hears your cry and sends people. And I know that God sent us here today for a second miracle. But we can't do that alone. We need help. We need you to come over and help us and be part of a second miracle that these people can know that there is hope when they pray.